However, uh, I'd just like to welcome you to the uh, short operating video of this uh, lovely uh, Martin Howes Bayliss um, twin cylinder slide valve marine engine. Um, these were actually manufactured for use in the um, Martin Howes and Bayliss boats. Um, this was the bigger of the engines, the twin cylinder engines. Um, this was used in the uh, Sea Cadet. Um, you could put it in the Opal and the uh, Topaz, but it was, this was the bigger engine, bigger twin cylinder engine. They did also do a three cylinder engine, but it was very, very, uh, very, very few and far between and extremely expensive. This engine was um, absolutely, I think it was probably almost a thousand pounds and that was back in the 90s. Um, very very expensive engine but an absolute beautiful motor I mean as you can see this is ticking over at virtually nothing um, very unusual engine in, in the fact that the, um, the cylinder uh, connecting rod actually just goes up down that isn't reciprocal doesn't move around in circles um, hence the fact that it actually has two shafts, one for the crankshaft and one for the siding which is underneath. Um, this is the forward reverse lever which actually adjusts the timing of the valves. Um, this can be operated in motion but I wouldn't recommend it really, it's better just to stop the engine and reverse it. As you can see it's in a clockwise direction now. Um, as I say, very efficient engine as well. I mean, the pressure on this one is next to nothing. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's ticking over beautifully. Um, I'm just pushing the uh, up a little bit. Very powerful engine these as well. Um, I mean, these were pushing. I think I think it was a forty-eight, a fifty millimeter. Uh, triple bladed propeller. Uh, I mean, obviously, I won't get all of it, it's just loose on the bench at the moment. Um, but yeah, very strong, very powerful motor, very steam efficient as well. Um, it, and it's all built in manifold, obviously, as you can see with the condenser bits on the on the, on the back there. I have actually got the uh, the boiler. I'm just giving this a quick once over. It's actually um, been sat. In, uh, in a little box for a very 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 long time um, I'm just was in, was in the boat but never got used um, <laughs> I've got a funny feeling I think it's only actually been steamed probably a handful of times this engine hence it's um, it is in pretty good condition uh, there's no play in it whatsoever uh, I mean, as you can see by the, by the smoothness of the motor and it's um, you know it's quietness and there's there's very little play in it at all. Um, reasonably compact design. You can get this in a this will will push a oh, I would say at least a four foot ball so long and a really good race of knots. Um, and as you can guess. Um, you may buy, uh, buy, buy, may buy Bayliss, it's um, superb quality. Um, this is actually the boiler for it. Um, these were both purchased together. Um, I must say, I've just got it out of the boat at the moment. I'm just doing a bit of uh, bit of maintenance on it. I'm going to get it boiler tested. Um, I don't see any reasons why it shouldn't be fine. Um, this boiler is, let's say, superb quality. Um, it's have a serial number on the bottom. Uh, it's actually stamped on a separate plate, uh, as does the um, as does the engine itself. Uh, it does have a serial number on the bottom. Um, very very few of these were actually made. Um, certainly less than a hundred. So if you are a collector, these are um, probably a must-have engine. I mean, obviously. Yeah, it's uh, obviously set up with a coupling there. It has been in the boat. Um, 
I don't rightly know which boat it was in. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in Sopaz. Um, I acquired this well after the boat had been taken out of the boat. Um, but off, a, off a friend of mine. So yeah, it's lovely, lovely engine. Let's say I'm going to be plumbing this in, uh, putting it on a new plate. And um, it's actually going to make me what's for sale because I do have a lot of engines. Um, I do like to use my engines in boats. Um, most of my boats are reasonably large. Um, it just seems a shame to have it sat here. Uh, this is going to make get completely cleaned up and it will be pretty much spotless. Um, and it will be going up for sale. So if anybody is interested, um, please uh, please get in touch. Obviously, let's like say it will be fully certificated uh, before it goes. But yeah, lovely, lovely... Uh, Lovely engine. This uh, boiler is also uh, a Bayless boiler as well. So, very, very nice engine.